Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for calling a girl desperate and pathetic after she tried to kiss my boyfriend during a play. I'm 19 and studying drama at uni with my boyfriend, who is seriously good looking but doesn't seem to have a clue about it. He gets a lot of attention from girls, and for the most part, I just let it slide because he doesn't notice their flirting. But there's this one girl, Victoria, who is totally obsessed with him. She's always finding ways to be paired up with him for group projects. If the professor picks groups by numbering us, she'll make sure she's in the same group as him. It's like she's on a mission to be close to him. Recently, she even stepped down from a lead role in our play to take a minor part just because her character has a romantic subplot with my boyfriend. I've overheard her talking about how she thinks he's hot and all that. I've never confronted her about it, mainly because she seems really insecure. She's always complaining about how she thinks she's ugly, and honestly, my boyfriend doesn't care about her advances, so I didn't see a reason to stir things up. But things hit a new low after our latest play. We had a small afterparty where Victoria got a little tipsy. She was bragging loudly about how she felt a spark during their stage kiss, and how she planned to ask him if he felt the same way. I rolled my eyes and tried to ignore it, but then she actually went up to my boyfriend while I was standing right next to him. She started saying things like, I know you felt that spark too, and you're such a good kisser. I just lost it. I snapped and told her straight up that she sounded desperate and pathetic for thinking a stage kiss meant they should be together. I told her she was crossing a line by going after someone else's boyfriend. She looked completely mortified and walked away in tears. Now I feel like a jerk because I know she's really insecure, and her friends have been calling me a bitch nonstop since then. They're all defending her like she's some kind of victim. I feel awful because I never meant to hurt her feelings. I was just fed up with her constantly overstepping boundaries. I'm really torn. On one hand, I feel like I did the right thing by standing up for my relationship and my boyfriend. On the other hand, I hate that she's crying and that her friends are attacking me. It feels like I'm being punished for defending myself and my relationship. I also can't stop thinking about why Victoria felt it was okay to pursue my boyfriend so aggressively. Is this how she acts with everyone? It's making me question her behavior and how she handles boundaries. I've been wondering if there was a better way to handle it, like having a private conversation with her about respecting personal space, or just letting my boyfriend deal with it. But in that moment, with everyone around and her being so bold, I felt like I had no choice but to speak up. So now I'm stuck dealing with the fallout from my actions and hoping that eventually, things will calm down and maybe Victoria will understand why I reacted the way I did. For now, I'm just trying to navigate this mess and hoping everyone involved can eventually move on. AITA for not wanting to buy my boyfriend's mom's overpriced house? My boyfriend and I are in the middle of buying a house for $330, and we've made the offer and done the inspection, and now we're just waiting to make sure all the paperwork goes through. We've got until next week to back out if we need to. The house we're looking at is on the small side, but it's cute and everything lines up perfectly. Then, his mom threw a wrench in the works. She offered to sell us her old house which is supposedly worth $500 and for just $350 and... Sounds like a great deal, right? Except this house is far from perfect. It's got some serious wear and tear, with issues like deteriorated pillars and the whole place needs a major remodel. Plus, we'd have to rent it from her for two years while we fix it up, which doesn't sit right with me because we wanted to avoid renting in the first place. The whole thing is stressing me out. $330 and is already stretching our budget, and now we're supposed to come up with a $350 and plus deal with all these repairs and rent. It feels like we're being pushed into a bad deal, and I'm really worried about what else might be wrong with the house. When my boyfriend asked if I wanted to buy his mom's house, I said no. It's just too much work. Plus, I'm not even sure if it's worth the $500 and she's claiming. He really wanted me to consider it, so I had him get some photos of the inside since I hadn't seen it before. Once I saw the pics, I was even more sure that it wasn't the right move. The place needs a ton of work, and on top of that, his mom wants us to hand over $100 and from the sale once we fix it up and sell it. After two years of renting, remodeling, and giving her $100, and, it just seems like a bad deal. I told him I still didn't want the house. 
He was like, fine, then you call my mom and tell her. I didn't want to be the one to do that because my relationship with her wasn't great, and honestly, I never said I wanted the house in the first place. So, he called her, and told her I wasn't interested because it was too much work. He kept trying to get me involved in the conversation, but I just didn't want to. When I finally did talk to her, she guilt-tripped me, saying I was keeping him from a family gift. After the call he told me he'd be upset for a long time if we didn't go through with it because he thinks it's a great deal. I'm starting to think there might be something fishy going on. If it's supposed to be a gift, why do we have to give her $100 and in the end? This wouldn't be the first time we've put effort into something for her without getting much back. I'm torn between feeling like I'm being a jerk for stopping him from what he sees as a blessing and feeling like I'm protecting us from a huge headache. We found a nice house that we both liked before the situation came up, and I think we'd be happier with that. Update after talking to my boyfriend and showing him this post. He claims she will help us pay for the renovations of this house if we buy it and will not let us get broke. He claims we won't have to give her 100, but instead, we will give her 50% of whatever we end up making off of it. In my opinion, it is still a bad deal. He claims he doesn't even care about getting the house anymore. Despite all the comments, he doesn't feel like he is being a mama boy or being delusional about it. In the comments, I mentioned that we started to fix up one of her house's basements so we could rent them from her. There was a lot of trash in there, so we spent days bagging it all up. After we cleaned it up, she went back on our deal and rented it to someone else. He says he isn't mad about that because we haven't put any money into it yet. We still ended up moving to a different basement in one of her houses. I told him that even though she gave us another basement, she still lied to us, so she couldn't be trusted. Oh yeah. She ended up throwing us out of that basement anyway and putting all our stuff on the street. Pretty much that basement ended up flooding multiple times because she didn't take proper care of it. Since it was unlivable, we went apartment hunting. She got mad at us for finding a new place to live and then threw us out on the street before our new lease started. She even locked us out of a lot of items and made us come back with the police to try to get them back. She tried to lie to the police and say we didn't even live there. All in all, he doesn't see that his mom can't be trusted, and I don't understand why. I'm about to explode. At this point, I am worrying about moving in with him at all. This will continue to be a lifelong problem he has. He finally came around, and we were going to get the original house as we planned. After talking to everyone here, our realtor and family members, they all said buying his mom's house was a bad idea. Thank you so much. Also, I am aware that buying a house before we are married is risky, but I do love him and hope to be married soon. Renting is such a big scam, and at the end of the day, at least we are putting our money into something that we own instead of down the drain with rent. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.